You're listening to the Eagles Chat Podcast, episode number two. If you've ever felt that you're not good enough, if you sometimes question whether you're good to lead or not, and if you sometimes feel intimidated because some people that you lead are smarter than you, then today's episode is for you. On today's episode, we are going to we are going to see what dealing with insecurity in leadership looks like. I hope that we'll be able to learn a lot and put everything we learn into practice. I am very excited that you're here. And quickly, I want to thank you very much for the reviews and the comments and the wonderful encouragements that you left on the previous episode. I have one here that's one of my favorites. It's from Official Mona. She says, The Eagles Chat podcast has been introduced at a time where I need it the most. I've just been promoted to be the word executive officer and I can't wait to learn every week about inspiring lessons on leadership. Thank you very much. We hope that our messages can encourage you every week. Anyways, our episode today is sponsored by Jiongeze Net. Jiongeze is Swahili word for go the extra mile. It is a platform for youth where they encourage one another to always keep doing their best in anything they are doing. I'm excited about today's episode. Let's go and dig in. You are listening to the Eagles Chat Podcast, where we strongly believe that everyone can lead. Can lead. Leadership enthusiasts and trainer Jocelyn Sigwa will help you to redefine what authentic leadership looks like. And it is time to hear from the experts and listen from honest conversations. If you want to lead with the authentic ability and to deliver results, just to be your best as a leader, you are on the right place. Here is your host, educator, and fitness junkie, Jocelyn Msigwa. Hey, do you know that at every point in your life, you're going to meet someone who's better than you in some way? <laughs> Look, I have met people who are better than me in every possible way. You'll meet those people who are prettier. You'll meet people who are smarter. You'll meet people who are funnier. You'll just meet someone who's better than you at any point of life. And once you're a leader, yes, I'm very certain, you'll have people who are better than you in certain areas that you are very, very shallow. And that is okay, and that is human. That is the diversity that God has brought in the world. Now, because we are not equal, because some people are good compared to us in some ways, it is natural, therefore, to feel that we may be not good enough. We start questioning that. Or we may feel that we are not really worthy of the, of the position that we're in or of whatever it is that we're doing. Or maybe sometimes we even feel that maybe we are actually not wanted or we are not respected. I just want you to know that feeling insecure is natural, it is human, it is part of who we are. But it is something that we can fix, it is something that we can deal with. Insecurity at its deepest core comes from not believing in yourself, not believing that you're good enough, not believing that you're worth it. And... And, and really quick today, I want, to, I want, to, I want us to, to reflect about the things that are going to help us deal with insecurity in one way or the other. So one of the simplest things is to accept it. Uh, when you have people that are good at you, when you have people that are better than you in certain ways, you really need to accept that. You need to accept that, okay, wow. This guy is really smart. I, I like that. Actually, embrace it. Uh, choose to love that about that person. Once you accept it, you start taking it in a positive way. Once you accept it, you actually even look for opportunities to learn from this person. If it's a person you are leading, you could just simply go by and say, hey, buddy, you're really good at this. I need you to help me with this. And, and that's a very good thing because it will also allow you to grow. And when you accept it, you'll actually allow this other person to shine. You'll help the person look good in front of others. You know, the ugliest side about intimidation, about, about feeling, in, feeling insecure, is that you would want to intimidate others. 
you 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 naturally want to make others look bad because you're feeling bad when they look good are you there so um accepting it allows you to raise others and to help them to help them look even better and in the process that allows you to look good now the next thing here real quick is simply believing in yourself like i said earlier but today i want to speak of, to speak about believing in yourself at a different angle um do you know have you heard of the word congruence congruence is in 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 a simple meaning we could say being in line to the true self that you believe who you are it is being in congruence means it means your experience and your performance are in line to who you believe you are who you who you see you are who you want to be if you know that you're a good person you're disciplined and you're smart being congruent to that means you stick to your plans you stick to your routines you stick to the discipline that you've set for yourself you are in line to how you see who you're supposed to be now when you are in congruence with yourself this creates momentum with your performance it creates momentum in who you are and what you're trying to achieve and once you are building this you slowly start believing in yourself internally regardless the external factors regardless the great people that you constantly have to encounter um i remember when i was a little girl uh my parents told me that when a cat is scared when a cat is scared or thinks that there is danger it will simply close its eyes and stay very still for quite some time <laughs> and then i didn't at first i didn't understand until they told me when it closes its eyes because all it sees is darkness then it thinks that everything around it also sees darkness <laughs> and that is funny because that is what insecurity is like no matter how you think you're perceived on the outside insecurity always shows it always shows it will always show that you don't believe in yourself you're not very confident in yourself you are doubtful about yourself it will always reveal itself in one way or the other now to fight this you just have to make sure that you have fought this within you have dealt it with yourself this is something that no one can give you no one can bring for you it is something that you have to work for it's okay to feel insecure it's okay to feel insecure it's okay to feel intimidated but it's not okay to dwell in that feeling you have to fight it and i just want to remind you today that your value is so much more than what you can ever know in a lifetime I'm going to say that again. Your value is so much more than what you can know in a lifetime. And you can't go around feeling that you're not good enough, you can't do this, you're not doing this. No, no, no. You need to know who you are and need you and you need to carry yourself like that. Walk like that. Talk like that. Be like that. Lift others up. Raise others up. Praise them for what they are good at and then praise yourself love yourself value what you can bring and always be in congruence with who you believe you truly are thank you very much we've made it to the end of today's episode i hope that throughout the week we could work on our insecurities and give our best performance in our leadership i hope we're going to meet again next week thank you very much for tuning in